If you like animals, you know they can do the craziest things. <laughs> and we discover new, interesting things every day. Every time we think we have it down, they turn around and surprise us even more. From a little furry rodent with metal teeth to a creature totally immune to poison, here are 15 animals who did things and surprised everybody. Number 15. Monkey who is truly a phenomenal babysitter. Monkeys can be very aggressive towards humans, and they don't necessarily enjoy being around us for long. That's why, when one of them bonds with a person, it's rare and exceptional. But when they bond with a baby, it's mind-blowing. That's the case of this macaque that became so close to this baby, it never leaves him out of its sight. It protects him like if it was his own. They play together, nap together, snack together, they even throw tantrums together. They are inseparable funny little friends. Even when the baby makes a blunt movement, the monkey seems to understand that his friend still doesn't have the motor skills to control his gestures and it doesn't become aggressive. He even tries to take the baby away from its mother's arms, almost like it was telling her off for not holding the baby the right way. The baby's family is allowed to pet it, but it only seems to care about the little one, running to his rescue whenever he starts crying. But beware, if the monkey doesn't know you and you get close to his baby friend, you might find yourself fighting off a very angry monkey. He is the perfect babysitter and baby bodyguard in the world, wouldn't you agree? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Sharks that like massages. Lots of sharks in the ocean end up with hooks stuck in their mouths, and that causes serious injuries and a lot of pain for the giant predators. There are some people that take the hooks out, and for consolation, they pat the shark's back like you would do with your pet dog. But what happens next is incredible. The sharks remember the pleasurable cuddles, and they come back for more even months later. Could you imagine such a terrifying animal begging you for a gentle back rub? Insane. I mean, just because you have very sharp teeth and were made for hunting doesn't mean you don't enjoy the occasional display of care. And they do seem to go into a trance whenever they're snuggled. They've even been seen fighting for divers' attention, all wanting a piece of the snuggly action. These enormous killers don't seem to be just all that terrifying after all. They show gratitude and appreciation for the kind gesture. See for yourself. Now, some divers even go so far as to manufacture special gloves to make the experience even more delightful for the sharks. And more and more are getting in on the scoop, and divers don't seem to have enough hands for everybody. Number 13. Macaques that wash their food. If you thought animals were not picky eaters, you would be dead wrong. Much like raccoons clean their food every time they eat, so do macaques, and they never ever eat the skin of a fruit. They bite the food, and in a single move, they eat the flesh and spit the skin away, after thoroughly cleaning it, of course. This behavior seems to have been learned, not instinctively known. Therefore, some macaques that were born in zoos won't do that. This event can teach us a lot about macaques' behavior and the importance of social lessons they share amongst them. It's almost like they have dining etiquette that you have to follow if you don't want to stand out. What's next? Monkeys in evening attire using the proper fork and knives for different meals? And it gets even crazier. Older macaques that couldn't keep up with the social innovations of their group when it comes to feeding and still do things the old school way are seen set aside and having to eat on their own. They are not allowed to eat with the cool kids because, well, they don't clean their food. It's a game of who's in on the rules and who's the coolest kid on the block. Number 12. Egyptian Vulture Uses Rocks As Hammers 
Egyptian vultures are different than any other vulture in the world. They don't like eating carcasses as much as they like eating eggs. But not any given egg. They have a predilection for ostrich eggs. Ostrich eggs are the hardest and biggest in the animal kingdom. A grown and heavy person can stand on top of them without even cracking them in the slightest. So how does the Egyptian vulture do it? Well, it uses tools. Yes, customized tools. No, they don't take a trip to Home Depot. What they do is they look for a rock to use as a hammer to crack the egg. When they find a juicy egg, they then fly, sometimes as far as 50 yards, to find the perfect stone. They seem to lift the rocks with their beak to weigh them, and then try to calculate if they would be heavy enough to do the trick. They then carry the stone in their beak back to where the egg is, and when they throw the rock at it, voila! The yummy yolk is now at its disposal to enjoy. These are very intelligent birds indeed. It's already very rare to see animals use tools, but to use specific tools for each situation? Impressive. Number 11. Archer Fish Water Pistol. The water is full of freaky things like the archer fish. This is a fish that's been dubbed the Sniper of the Waters, and it's a very accurate nickname. Archer fish can shoot turbo jets of water from meters away. With such accuracy, even Simo Hea would be impressed. Archer fish feed on insects and spiders, but you can't find these in the water, so the archer fish found a solution. It became a professional marksman. It'll target its prey sitting on a branch or a leaf, aim, and shoot. The prey then falls into the water and the fish only has to open its mouth and eat. But they're not only exceptional shooters, they are math geniuses as well. When you consider that light bends when it enters the water, this little fish has to calculate the real distance between himself and his target. That's a complicated mathematical problem and they do it in a matter of seconds. They never ever miss their target. They can control the speed, angle, strength, and height of the jets of water they shoot, adapting to each situation and prey to an absolute precision and accuracy. And they can shoot up to seven feet in distance. Number 10, Orangutan Feeding a Tiger Cub. Have you ever heard of an animal adopting another species infant? The orangutan does it, and it's the sweetest thing you'll see today. Orangutans are such caring creatures, they find enormous joy in being surrogate parents for any kind of babies. At the Myrtle Beach Zoo in South Carolina, this orangutan watched the zoo's caregivers take care of a litter of tiny tigers every day, and she decided she wanted in on the action. She started playing with the cubs, and soon after, she started giving them their baby bottles and cuddling with them. She got so attached to her new friends that she now gets really sad when she can't be with them, just like their real mother would do. She even ended up being a way better babysitter than the caretakers, and has now officially taken over their jobs altogether. She can easily keep up with the busy little tigers, and she seems so happy in doing so. The tigers don't seem to be complaining either. After all, they've found a new mommy, and they all look extremely attached to each other. They don't seem to notice anymore that they belong to a different species, and that, in the wilderness, they would probably never have ended up developing such a caring bond. Number 9. Cat Saves Toddler From Falling Down The Stairs if you have a cat, you know they can be a little bit, uh, let's say, aloof. But we all know they love us just as much as we love them, and if you doubt it, check this out. This kitty is a true hero. It saved a baby from falling down the stairs. It literally saved the kid's life. You can see it playing with the infant, but at the same time being in super alert mode. And when the moment comes to take action, it springs forward from the top of the sofa to the rescue of his little friend. The baby was rapidly crawling towards the staircase, and that staircase is very high. The baby could have ended up being seriously hurt, 
but fortunately, this kitty, the hero, was there to save the day. He immediately recognized the danger and went to block the kid from the stairs. He then barricades himself there just in case the baby decides to give it another go. What a little saint. The cat then gently bites the kid's ear so it'll stroll away in another direction and be safe. This cat is so smart, it's breathtaking. I wish all cats were like this one. Number 8. Penguins Give Engagement Gifts Life is hard for a young penguin in love. He needs to go through lots of different stages if he wants to be able to impress the girl of his dreams. He first needs to make sure she's single, and that can be a little tricky sometimes. But if she turns out to be single and interested, he then needs to find for her the perfect engagement gift, a little pebble. But it can't just be any old pebble. It has to be the right shape, the right size, and it has to shine, just like a diamond in an engagement ring. Our little friend has to stroll all over the beach several times looking for a flawless rock, and when it finds it, then comes the hard part. What if she says no? What if she doesn't like his gift? But the penguin has to be brave and present her with his present. If he's lucky, he found a mate for life. Without further ado, they both start building their home by stashing more rocks together. But at the top, the one and only pebble that made everything possible. And right next to it is where their egg will be. Number 7. Clownfish That Can Change Gender all clownfish are born male. Yeah, you heard that right. They are all born males. How in the heck can they reproduce then? Well, it's simple. How and why they do that? Well, they all have both male and female reproductive organs, but only the dominant fish in the group gets to turn into a female. The female clownfish are bigger, and there can only be one per pod. When they change their sex, the change becomes irreversible. If the leader female dies, then the second most dominant member of the group gets to take her place by also changing gender, and so on and so on. Imagine if Marlin from Finding Nemo woke up one day to find out he's now Marlena. The franchise would have taken a very different turn. It is unclear how exactly they managed to do this sexual transition. Scientists think their brain interprets a social need, the need for a female in the pod, and they can send signals to their reproductive organs to favor one gender over the other. It is certainly interesting, though. Number 6. The Tasmanian Devil Has the Strongest Bite the devil comes out at night, and in Tasmania, it sure does, in the form of a two-foot little furball found exclusively on the island that carries the same name right off the coast of Australia. They are marsupials like their less bad-tempered cousins, the kangaroo. The Tassie devil might be very small and cute, but it has the strongest bite force of any living mammal on the planet in proportion to its size. They can even rip through bone like it's butter. That is explained by their disproportionate head compared to the torso, which allows for an unusually large and powerful jaw. They're basically a jaw on legs. Most of this is pure muscle, allowing the sheer force of the mandible to clamp down on whatever had the misfortune of being in their mouth at the time. They are nocturnal scavengers, and they also sometimes hunt wombats and baby kangaroos. To date, no Tassie devil has ever killed a human, but I wouldn't go anywhere near them. Lucky for us, they are easy to hear coming, with that hellish bark they have that'll freeze your blood on the spot. Number 5. The African Lungfish Ever heard of an animal that can breathe in both water and air? We have. It's the breathtaking African lungfish. Uh, okay, sorry, no more stupid jokes. The lungfish specializes in surviving the unforgiving South African droughts. When the water becomes scarce or non-existent, the lungfish then survives by hiding in the mud. Sometimes this fish has to wait up to five years until the water comes back. But the droughts in Africa are so severe, even the mud becomes totally dry. So the lungfish then secretes abundant amounts of mucus, creating a cocoon around itself. 
As disgusting as it sounds, it is very effective, and it keeps the fish nice, moist, and protected during its long estivation. But mucus bag or not, the fish is outside of the water. How can it breathe then? Well, the lungfish has both gills and lungs. It's right there in the name. It kept a primitive form of lung from the prehistoric era. That is why, even when they're in the water, they have to come up for air every half hour or so. So technically, lungfish are the only fish in the world that can drown. Number 4. Tardigrades, the most resilient animals in the universe. Tardigrades look like microscopic eight-legged hairless bears, and they are indestructible, literally. These tiny organisms can survive the vacuum of space, and they can go for 30 years without food. They live in volcanoes, in Arctic ice, and in the deepest point in the ocean. Still not impressed? Experts say they could easily survive an asteroid impact like the one that killed the dinosaurs. That means that only the sun disappearing could maybe kill these things, and that's a big maybe. These one millimeter creatures might just be the toughest things in the universe. They're believed to have been around for over 500 million years, and they don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. There are so many of them on Earth that they might be one of the most thriving creatures of all time. Oh, and also, they can stand 1,000 times more radiation than humans. Where do they get their superpowers? Well, it's simple. They can turn into a ton. It's basically a process called cryptobiosis. They turn themselves into an indestructible little ball and can stay like that for decades. And if all that isn't enough, don't worry. We're still discovering new things about these little guys every day. Number 3. Axolotl Limb Regeneration the axolotl is a Mexican salamander, and it's one of the very few animals that can regenerate themselves. But this isn't your ordinary tail regeneration like the one that lizards can do. These adorable little creatures can regenerate parts of their brain, their heart, their testicles, and the entire spinal cord. Imagine if we were able to do such a thing. When human beings get injured, what our body does is it seals or covers the wound. But when the axolotl gets injured, it can transform nearby cells into stem cells, thus replacing the missing body parts with an exact replica of what it used to be. Can I also choose this superpower? And it might just be possible one day. Scientists already figured out the entire axolotl's genome, and they now hold the key to fully understanding how the regeneration process works. They aim one day to be able to teach human cells to behave the same way as the salamanders. These little fellas made it possible to go from an if to a when when it comes to future human regeneration. So what do you say? Wanna be a superhero? Number 2. Honey Badger Venom Resistance Venomous snakes kill 94,000 people every year, and a snake bite death is a horrible thing. That is why snakes are the representation of evil or danger all over the world. They pose such a threat to our safety, our fear of them is ingrained in our DNA. But there's a little furry animal that has a very different perception of deadly venomous snakes. The Honey Badgers. Unlike suggested by its name, Honey Badgers are the badasses of the animal kingdom. They are absolutely immune to venom, even to the King Cobra's venom, considered the most lethal on the planet. But they're not born immune, they built it up since infancy. The mother exposes her children to small doses of venom, just like vaccines. And the baby badger's training wheels? African scorpions. So Mama Badger will teach her cubs to look for this deadly scorpion and not only let it sting them a couple of times, but to explicitly eat it starting with the stinger to make sure they ingest all the poison. They do this because as adults, badgers feed mainly on poisonous snakes, and for that they need to be immune beforehand. They have found a loophole in the system and they're going with it. These pretty little monsters eat some of the most dangerous snakes in the world like it's nothing. Impressive, huh? Number 1. 
Beavers have metal teeth. Have you ever wondered how come beavers can munch on trees all day long and never break a tooth? Well, that's because they have metal in their teeth, literally. If you look closely enough, you'll see that their teeth are orange. That's because instead of magnesium, beavers' enamels are made mainly from iron, and iron makes everything look a bit red. That's why our blood is red, for example. Doesn't make for the most pretty set of pearly whites out there, but it does make for a nice inbuilt wood saw. The iron in their teeth also makes them more resistant to acid and to the mechanical stress of having to cut down trees all the time. Also, beavers' teeth are constantly growing. They do so until the day they die, like all rodents. But beavers are, again, a little special in that department. Their teeth are self-sharpening. These cute little creatures are like a workshop on paws. They have every tool you'll need to build yourself a nice water dam. And they'll probably build it faster than you. They can drop an 8-foot tree in 5 minutes. As you can see, animals are real-world superheroes. It's sometimes hard to believe. So if you could have any of these animal abilities, which one would you choose? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!